Hello everyone and welcome back to Lucky Loaders 15 where I'll be giving you four selections for tomorrow's racing and we're going to be going to Doncaster for the first one where we're going to be going with my next best which runs in the sales race at the two o'clock at Doncaster and that's a horse called Magical Sunset for Richard Tannen and Sean Levy currently best price at the time recording at 72 going to recommend a one point win bet here in the colours of Ammo Racing. Now last time we saw her she won on her race course debut at Windsor in fine style. That form's actually worked out quite well uh, subsequently because the second place horse on Roger Varian's absolutely hosed up um, last time we saw him which was last week and he's got some big entries next to him name. In fact actually this horse Magical Sunset she's got some beautiful entries as well so I think the connections definitely think quite highly of her and also as well um what's interesting is this angle coming into a sales race obviously it's a very valuable contest tomorrow but richard hannon we've seen him do it a few times this season target these sales races and he's got a good record in them over the last few years and i just wonder if this has been a bit of an idea from richard hannon and i think at seven to two i don't think that's a bad price there and i think with that form boosted i think she can go very well tomorrow she gets a Phillies allowance as well I'm expecting a bold bid from her in that race in the 2 o'clock at Doncaster, and that's why she's going to be my next best of the day. And then go over the extra tip in the 4 o'clock at Epsom with a horse called Painless Potter for Rian Ingham, claiming free. She's riding for Sean Lysett here, currently available at 6-1, four places on offer of Skybet. I'm going to recommend a 0.5 each way selection. Now, this horse caused a little bit of an upset the last time we saw him when he beat the odds-on favourite Broadspear, who was sent off a 1-16 to odds-on favourite for Roger Varin. However, I think uh, Painless Potter was a little bit underestimated there. It was always been a promising horse, always shown a good attitude. And I just thought he came into his own and the penny really dropped for him. He's running in here off a penalty, but off a mark of 77 with a £3 claim of Rian Ingram, I think he's got quite a lot in his favour. I don't think he'll mind the conditions as well. Sean Lysett seems to do quite well with horses that run a soft ground. I know a horse called Torcello has run well for him in the past. And I think if Rian Ingram can get into a good position tomorrow, I think he might be able to continue his progress. And I just thought at uh, 6 to 1 now, I thought he was slightly overpriced. And that's why he's going to be my selection in the 4 o'clock at Epsom. We then go to my long shot of the day, which runs in the 528 at Doncaster with a horse called Red Warning for Tom Eves and Michael Dodds. Currently available 25 to 1, five places on offer sky bet, 0.5 each way selection. Um, can understand the price of this horse. Was last seen finishing fifth at Carlisle in a better race in a 0 to 85 race. This is a drop down in grade tomorrow. And off of Marco 73, I thought he could be quite competitive. The cheap pieces uh, are retained which I don't think is a bad thing. He seemed to react okay to them last time out. I think he'll probably be ridden uh, handily. He'll probably be ridden aggressively. And I think over five furlongs, which this is a slight uh, drop back in trip uh, as he raced over six furlongs last time, I think that could see him to good effect. We know Michael Dodds can do very well with these sprinters. And I didn't think there was too many in here that were ahead of their mark. And I just thought he was slightly overpriced. So that's why I'm going to take a chance on him with those extra places in the last race at Donny tomorrow. We then go my nap, which runs in the race and league race at Savile, the 6.45. Horse here called Secret Army for Louis Stewart. Riding for David Manuzio. Currently available 6 to 1. Five places on offer sky bet. Going to recommend a one point each way here. Now this horse, Secret Army, I think the key to him could be the all-weather. He was last seen winning on the all-weather at Chelmsford. Okay, slightly different surface. This is to Peter tomorrow, Chelmsford's poly track. But he just seems to save his best form. And he was really six pounds um, for that win at Chelmsford. But like I say, I just think on the all-weather, he's a different proposition. And there could be a little bit more to come. He's drawn in still nine tomorrow. He could be ridden prominently, which I think will suit him if it is, because it's been quite hard to come off from the come from off the pace at Savile on, uh, on the recent start. So I do think if he can get into a good position, tomorrow i think he could have a lot in his favor still nine i don't think it's a bad draw as well it should encourage louis to go forward and if he can i think six to one is a bit big price devin manuzzi maybe hasn't had the best of years obviously lost a, a few of his uh owners but so i think um yeah i think this horse is heading in the right direction and could have a bit more to come uh staying on the all weather so that's why it's gonna be my selection and nap of the day in the 645 at several so there are my thoughts and tips for tomorrow's rating if you're enjoying these videos hit the thumbs up button subscribe here to the youtube channel at lucky loaders 15 please remember to gamble responsibly i'll be seeing you again tomorrow.